hello. Um, something to tell you all. You're watching Steve's Movie Wrap Up episode 13. I am just about to start this video. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is this is a movie wrap up video, which means that there is going to be some movies that I've watched. Um, the bad news is there's only two movies in this movie wrap up episode that I'm going to talk about. Yeah. Um, so without further ado, I promised you guys a movie wrap up video and this is essentially it. So here we go. Movie wrap up episode 13. Roll the titles. <laughs> You're watching Steve's Movie Wrap-Up episode 13 right here on Steve Official's YouTube channel. The first movie we're reviewing this week is Anyone But You. I wasn't sure uh, whether I would enjoy Anyone But You, but turns out I actually did enjoy this uh, movie more than I was expecting. It's a romance comedy movie that stars Glenn Powell and Sidney Sweeney as Brad and B in their respective roles. At first watching this movie, I was um, thinking this was going to be one of the most cheesiest rom-com movies I've ever seen in my life, or at least the most cliche rom-com movies uh, I have ever seen, especially when you see the uh, opening scene from this movie. I will say that for me, uh, the movie didn't outstay its welcome at any point. I was kept rather engaged in the film uh, all throughout. I thought that the acting in this was rather decent, particularly from the leads. There was some rather funny moments, which I did laugh at. And uh, fun fact about this movie is that this is a more modernised version of the old school classic William Shakespeare play, Much Ado About Nothing. If you watch uh, this movie... Um, and th then you'll see that the Shakespeare play is referenced all throughout the film as well. A decent rom-com movie, which I did enjoy. I think it's going to be one of those movies that I will purchase on digital and re-watch all over again when it becomes available uh, to buy and rent here in the UK a little bit later on in the year. Night Swim. I should also uh, state that uh, with anyone but you, I gave it four stars over on Letterboxd. But with Night Swim, though, I gave that a one star rating over on Letterboxd. Wow. My first horror movie of 2024, and I didn't enjoy it at all. Uh, I mean, the opening act for this movie wasn't great at all, to be honest. A girl randomly wakes up in the middle of the night and goes outside to find... A mysterious boat in a swimming pool therefore tries to grab it and ends up falling in. She then mysteriously vanishes and disappears. We then have this cliche moment in a horror movie where we have a family that moves into the home where the little girl fell into the swimming pool and mysteriously disappeared. And then I'm sure you get the rest of the movie premise. Uh, premise. Some weird stuff ha begins to happen to the family. You, you know what? You get the picture. You get the picture. Anyways, was this a horror movie that I'm easily going to remember? I don't think it will. Um, I already don't remember a lot that happened in the film. And I'm reviewing this not long after seeing it. It's a shame that I didn't like this film because I really do enjoy most Blumhouse films. But this is sadly one that I didn't enjoy I can also say that the acting performances in this wasn't great neither, to be honest. There was some rather cringe moments in this that I didn't like. And also some moments in this that felt rather forced to make this out to be a, a scary movie when I wasn't scared at all. The only thing I can say that is positive about this movie is that I love the design of the demon that we see in this movie. I thought the demon creature looked cool, but aside from that, I would probably avoid watching this movie. And that, my friends, is pretty much all the films that I have watched in the last couple of weeks. I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. You know what, right? So, at the time of this video going up, we are now in February, right? Hello, welcome to February. This is, I'm going to show you this, right? This is on my iPad right now, right? Oh, hello. Let's turn it around, right? This top, this top bit here, 
Oh, okay. We're going we're going into a poor things review. Oh, we're going back in we're going back into night swim review. This um this top tab here, by the way, is all the movies that I've watched in January. Literally. January 2nd, Wonka, January 5th, Society of the Snow, January 5th, Good Grief, January 7th, Saltburn, January 12th, Poor Things, January 18th, Anyone But You, and then finally, the 25th of January, Night Swim. That is, so far, how many films is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've only watched seven films in the space of a month. Um... Yeah, I sucked at watching films in January. I'm sorry, okay? I will get better. Uh, listen, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was short. I know it was sweet, okay? I'm going to try and come back next Friday with another movie wrap-up with hopefully some more films that I have watched in the last week, okay? I'll try my best. Feel free to hit that like button though uh, down below. As always, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below as well. Love to hear your thoughts in terms of what movies you guys have been watching recently, whether they're old, whether they're new, whether you've been to the cinema, or whether you've just stayed at home and watched them on streaming services. As always, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. And if you are new around here, you like what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button to become a Stevo. I will be back on Monday next week, Monday the 5th of February 2024 with my weekly vlog. Uh, but until then though, it's goodbye. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again in my next YouTube video.